I am so happy to have the lovely Chica in the kitchen today and she is going to teach us all about lovely, simple Japanese cookery. Now, what are we making today? So today we're going to be uh, make the ise ebi kobujime, which is we're going to take the crayfish tails and the cured in kombu soup. Beautiful. And then also the head's going to be miso soup. Now, what do you want me to start with? Oh, if you can twist it and then take the tail meat out, that'll be great. Now, just for everyone at home, this uh, crayfish, Southern Rock crayfish, Australian crayfish, has been uh, dispatched nicely, so it's ready to go and it's mm. dead. We just need to take the tail off. So I'm just going to twist it like that. There we go, I'll twist that out. Now, I'm so happy you've got uh, Southern Rock crayfish and not the mm -hmm. Japanese spiny lobster, mm -hmm. because that's full of spines. That would hurt me, wouldn't it? Yeah, it could be. It could. Now, this is uh, a really easy one. I'm just going to cut it along the side there. Now, it's interesting that you cook it with a miso soup as well, don't you? Yeah, because the head has got the full of flavour. You don't want to miss it. So you're just going to go into take the head and that's the best part as well. OK. There we go. You get your thumb in behind it like that. You've got to be careful with, the, uh, with these spikes here. But once you've got the last little bit, I'll just cut that off there. There we there go. There it comes. Beautiful. That. that is fantastic. All right, so next one, we're going to make a sandwich in a kombu sheet. So kombu kelp, you need to wipe it off the surface with sake first. So you just need to take off all the dust and rocks nice. on the surface. And gotcha. also that sake will help to bring some more um, umami flavour out from the kombu. The umami is the savoury, yeah. seaweedy flavour. That's what we're looking for. Yes, it okay. is. So nice and gently wipe off the surface. Nice. And like then that. that's good to go. So we've got both sides done. I've got some glad wrap here. Yep. So put that down onto the board nice and evenly. Just be careful when you do this because the uh, teeth are quite sharp. Yeah. On the surface. All right. So now layer down the kombu and have the tail meat. This is my kind of sandwich. Just a little bit of bread or kombu there and a lot of meat. I love this. <laughs> Easy. All right. So take the another part on the top. Okay. And nicely, firmly pushing down. And now just try to eliminate all the air out and then just try to wrap very, very tightly. Like a little bonbon. So the uh, the sake and the uh, the seaweed and the salt in the seaweed, that cures the uh, the lobster tail overnight. That's what you're looking for? Yes, it is. Gotcha, gotcha. So nice flavour coming up from the, the um, crayfish meat and then that will be absorbed by the kombu. So pop that on there? Yep. And then we just press it overnight, all the air comes out of it, and all the cure action happens in the uh, in the crayfish tail. Yes. Into the fridge we go. All right. OK, we've got that in the fridge. What do we do with the rest of this? So now we want to take the, all those nice goody flavours into the soup. Here is now we've got the dashi stock. And the dashi stock is a classic Japanese stock with the uh, with the kombu and the bonito flakes as well. Yes, it is. All right. So you want me to pop this hole in hole? Yes. Go All right, into here we that. Go. Look at that. Okay. Pop the head in like that. Is there any more ingredients to go in here? Sake, please. About a quarter of a cup. Ah, uh, yes. About that. In it goes like that. And yeah. then how long does that cook? It's about ten to fifteen minutes. Okay. So if you put the lid on, I'll just tuck those ten cubes in there. On it goes, simmer for 10 to 15 minutes. We'll have all this cleaned down and we'll be ready to finish off the rest of the dish. Brilliant. OK, Chica, through the magic of television, this is cured for 24 hours. Then it feels a lot, lot firmer. Yes, it is. Now, what are we going to do now? Do we take it out of the glad wrap? Yes, please. Okay. Then okay. take off the wrap and then also remove the kombu sheet. OK. We don't use a kombu sheet? No, you don't. OK. It's just, just for the curing and the flavour. Oh, the smell is fantastic and the colour has gone all mm. the way through that crayfish. If you can cut nicely and thin, that would be great. OK, you're in very safe hands because yeah. I'm pretty good with a knife. Uh, maybe a little bit more thinner than that. Oh my god. Yeah, that would be great. You're hard on me. Oh my goodness. Yes, I'm testing your skill. Testing my skill, so I'll just slice it like that. Now, it is quite soft and delicate, so you've got to slice it nice and gently like that. Beautiful. It smells fantastic. Mm. It is really delicate, but with a good sharp knife like this one, it's coming up beautifully. Yeah. And I'll just slice it like that. It's fantastic. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah, if you could have a little bit of lemon zest, that would okay. be great. And over the top there. How's that? That is great. All right, so the clayfish head's been cooked in a pot about 10 to 15 minutes. 
Now we're gonna take that, the heads okay. into the bowl. There's a trick to doing this. You put the uh, the tongs in there and grab it underneath, pick it up like that, and grab it out. And this is the way you serve it, hanging out of the bowl. It is. I Just facing that and hanging out like that. That is fantastic. Rather than dropping the whole miso into there, you just need to drop that miso paste into the ladle. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Then that's put them in to the soup. And it just softens up a little bit and, and falls apart. But you also use the chopsticks to whisk it up and yeah. break it up. Okay, no lumpy miso in this kitchen, yeah. is there? Oh. It, you just need to dissolve very nice and gentle. It's amazing. The smell is incredible. The crayfish is just really strong and the miso soup is, is coming up beautifully. All right. It's ready to go. It's nice ready to go. All right, I'll hold the bowl there and you can ladle it in. That would be great help. <sighs> My mouth is just foaming wanting to get into this. The smell is incredible. And that crayfish, the beauty of it is we can just pull it apart at the end and eat all the legs and... Yeah. All right, that's ready to go. OK, pop that down there like that. Now, I've got some chopsticks here. Which would you choose? I'm going for the white the ones. The white ones. So we'll have a little taste of the uh, of the tail. I'm really interested to see what the flavour is. Mm. In we go. A little piece for you, and I'll have a little piece there as well. Oh. That's fantastic. It's soft and delicate. I love it, I love it. I could just eat that on its own, but we've got some soup to try as well. So we've got two soup spoons here. Thank you. All right, and I'll have a little taste of that as well. <sighs> it's great, isn't it? Isn't amazing. You love it, don't you? Oh, I do. You've got the dashi in there, you've got the miso, you've got that beautiful crayfish, we've got the sashimi with a little bit of lemon on it. I love having you in this kitchen. You are welcome anytime. Thanks for having me. Absolute pleasure.